all right guys for kage here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are jujutsu kaisen phantom parade will be the topic uh, on today's video we, we're gonna discuss two things so first of all first year anniversary anniversary of jp version of jujutsu kaisen phantom parade is incoming so the game launched 21st of november of 2023 okay so that means in exactly one month the first year anniversary in jp version will start until then 7th of november we're gonna get already the global launch okay so during the global launch in like first few weeks we're gonna get the first year anniversary on the jp version on today's video i will deliver the prediction about that anniversary which is pretty obvious guys pretty obvious in my eyes at least uh, and as well i will add a global guide here and go through must have units after global launch okay i will go through every sing not every single but at least in first few months i will go through the units you should definitely get just so you know you have also the full timeline on my channel on today's we're gonna uh, today we're gonna go through this a little bit faster first of all leave a like subscribe your opinions in the comment section below make sure to pre-register so we get that 10 million goal and as well make sure to play the early gacha guys this is super important you could you can get the blue gojo even before an actual launch and then when the game launches you just take it and you're gonna have it so do this super important before the uh, global launch for sure i have a surprise but tomorrow you're gonna see my summon okay so first of all like i said the first year anniversary will start in about one month from now and in my eyes there is the only one prediction i have which is sukuna i believe that sukuna will be the anniversary character in jujutsu kaisen phantom parade why there is multiple reasons uh, first of all he needs to be <laughs> he needs to be bro we still don't have him in the game and second of all that's that's connected bro if we don't have him yet in the game they were saving it for the first year anniversary and it is like he'll be busted he'll be the best character in the game hands down the coolest character in the game hands down and i am super super hyped to see how everything will work now on the jp version i'm i, I tried to pull toji as well you know but i couldn't so now i'm just saving for that anniversary i have one month time so everyone who is playing the jp save up save up save up so with that i'm done fast honestly that's my prediction you're gonna tell me your predictions in the comment section below but let me continue so pretty much on the global launch you will want to get blue gojo and then nobara as well if you will reroll properly and if you if you've done the early gacha you, sh you should be fine if you pulled another blue gojo or something like that you're great okay uh then next banner will be this banner right here that you that you will skip okay 100 skippable banner especially for the free to place and then in december again we're gonna see how the global will do this but pretty much i believe they're gonna follow the timeline based on certain uh conversations i had but again i cannot confirm until we see it officially but we will have zero movie okay and this will be a must summon banner you will skip this banner which will be a pickup gacha for sr units and then you will summon for must have character guys this will be the first must have character utah must 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 you will want to get him when black flash is performed increase on black flash rate three turns black flash is huge and he's increasing that uh, black flash rate uh it is a rare attack that occurs on on gojo for example i believe itadori as well yeah for sure uh and then you do massive damage long story short and it happens when you do the ultimate or skill attack it's pretty random and super rare but this guy this guy can increase that rate uh, then we have skill one deals 120 percent okay i'll ignore now the percentage because you can level it up melee taijutsu okay we have jujutsu aoe damage decrease all enemies critical resistance beautiful depending on own jujutsu and enemies remaining hp instantly kill the enemy 
instantly kill the enemy. Deals combined damage to 80% Taijutsu, blah, Jujutsu, Taijutsu, Jujutsu to selected enemy. Then we have range, AoE, Jujutsu attack, and then he increases his own Taijutsu, Jujutsu. Oh my god. Unable to fill ultimate uh, skill gauge for the four turns. It's fine. You're already busted. Combos are always doing massive damage. Uh, at the start of each turn, if an ally is 60% HP or below and own curse energy is 10 or above, recovers all allies HP by 25. Exclude self, deals low damage and curse spirits. Decrease own curse energy by 10. Increase own taijutsu, jujutsu, fills own ultimate gauge. Wow. Yeah, he's truly a beast, guys. I don't have it now on JP. I need to find my old account. I believe I pulled him there. Okay, so he will be a must, must have, and the first must, 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 must god tier have <laughs> unit that you will summon, and you will save for him. Okay. Now, Ghetto, I don't have the description for him, so I don't want to talk too much. As far as I know, he's a really great, but not a must. But for example, Megumi here. Oh, this is the guy that I'm using on JP, and this is the next guy that you will like to summon for. Okay? He's that second must-have unit. At the start of each turn, and if own curse energy is 50 or below, fill some of own ultimate skill gauge. Does damage. Also, increase the selected enemy's damage received. Then also doing AoE damage. This is beautiful attack. Uh, then as well, we have the skill 3. Deals damage, Taijutsu and Jujutsu to selected enemy. Increase select enemy Taijutsu damage received. While the domain active, he will do even more damages. Increase the selected enemy Taijutsu damage. Stuns the selected enemy. One turn, it's 100%. That's a big clutch. And then you have the ultimate. Stuns the enemy. Expands the main. Uh, decrease all enemy damage. Increase all enemy damage received. Grants attack immunity to self. Decrease own skill curse energy cost. Unable to fill own ultimate. Like this is super broken character as well. Both like mix of somewhat of a DPS and a support. Not even somewhat. Actually providing a really good damage for me on the JP currently. So that's that's that. Uh, this is pretty much the two must-have characters, you know, in next month after the launch, pretty much. They follow the timeline. Him you can skip. This you can skip, and then this is another must, okay? Satoru Gojo, he'll be a must. He leaves after seven turns, and also when he uses the ultimate, he leaves. I have him, super broken. He can increase own critical hit rate when Black Flash is performed. It can decrease the selected enemy Taijutsu, Jujutsu damage, providing massive damages. Increase the selected enemy damage received. Uh, increase the selected damage by 10. Increase own damage by 5. Like, this is super broken. Like, before using the ultimate, oh my god. Increase own break damage with skill 3. Super important. Range Jujutsu damage. Decrease the selected enemy damage. And then the ultimate, it's AoE. Uh, decrease all enemies ultimate count gauge by two super broken and then he leaves he's like bye bye i i've done everything see you in the next one yeah that's that's pretty much the purple gojo uh, also must and then now i will m cover one more month here honestly uh this momo is really really good i have her she's insane buffer will you summon on this banner we're gonna see yes i believe it's way more worth it than the future one so momo you can go for her but that's like subject to change and then we have march you're chilling in march at least that's how it was on global we have april this one you're chilling this is the best free to play character right here that we're gonna get this is really solid uh, DPS, yellow DPS, by the way. So potential summon as well here. And then in May, nothing. 
Then we have half anniversary, May, June, May. Oh yeah, th this Gojo will be a must. Okay, he is a must. So purple Gojo, he, um, everything what I said before. Uh, this one you can skip. And then we are going to the June, right? And then Toji is a must have super broken character, guys. This guy does massive AoE damages, um, can heal, decrease the enemy critical hit resistance. School, skill nullifies any reduced damage received effect, by the way. That's huge. That's big. That's big. Increase own break damage, removes attack notification and one removal, removable buff. He is the unit that, and he doesn't leave the battle super broken uh i will also do with from my bro uh, leap i'll use his account he has doji i tried to pull him i didn't manage i need to save for anniversary but he has a potential for one unit runs hands down again removes attack notification removes buff from all enemies increase own okay look at this now Th this is what makes him super broken passives Increase own Taijutsu, recovers own HP every turn, reduce own damage received, evade single target attacks, grants guarantee guaranteed hit immunity to self, cannot be triggered of some skill statuses. When critical hit is performed, grants a guaranteed hit status to self. When critical hit is performed, increase own Taijutsu damage. When critical hit is performed, increase own Taijutsu damage. Like this guy has it all. Like this is all whole package and he stays in the battle super broken uh, i forgot to talk about the purple gojo right yeah i will talk now a little bit about purple gojo and with this we're gonna end it that is all what you need to know for now i don't want to confuse you with more units than this uh but this is as well a must-have unit by the way so we have here roughly two four five six units that you know in advance that there will be a must for global so uh, this gojo doesn't leave the battle so that's a big big advantage um he also tracks the selected enemy attacks to self that's a really good thing feels ultimate skill guide more than other skills he can get that ultimate really fast grants attack immunity to self increase own damage received increase own jujutsu damage will uh, while increase own jujutsu is active change skill into curse technique disclosure increase own damage by 53 percent increase own critical hit rate by 30 percent this guy is buffing like crazy range jutsu decrease the selected enemy damage by 30 aoe damage right here and he doesn't leave the battle and he also gets that grants attack immunity to self he's great for tanking as well while he's doing all of that Plus, he is providing big damage. Definitely a must-have. Okay, guys. With this, we're going to end the video. Some must-have characters for Global, ju just so you know in advance. And as well, just wanted to deliver my prediction for the first year anniversary, which is in a one month, and I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, Sukuna, here we go, my bro. That's it, guys. Love you. I hope you did enjoy it. And yeah, to the next one. Bye.